In a major breakthrough for India's ambitious Gaganyaan mission, the Indian Space Research Organisation successfully tested its Gaganyaan crew escape module on Saturday. The successful testing comes after ISRO put the test flight on hold just 5 seconds before launch earlier on Saturday. After initial hiccups, ISRO successfully carried out the testing which involved an in-flight abort demonstration and separation and recovery of a crew module. The test was the first among a series of key tests conducted as part of the Gaganyaan human spaceflight mission planned for 2025. The liftoff was originally scheduled for 8.30 am but was later rescheduled twice due to unfavorable weather conditions and technical issues. The launch finally happened at 10 am after all technical issues were resolved. To bring down the velocity of impingement in the sea to around 8.5 Crew module in descent phase with main chute. Plus 6 minutes. Relative velocity now 12 meters per second. We are at an altitude of 1.6 kilometers. Parikshan pur nirdharit tarike se jari hai. Gati dhire dhire kam hote huye. 15 meter prati second reh gai hai aur uchai 1.5 kilometers. Indian Navy team is readily deployed in the sea around the Sri Harikota coast for quickest possible reaching to the crew module and then recovering it. Ant mein touchdown ke pashat main parachute ko bhi crew module se alak kar diya jayega. तथा क्रू मॉड्यूल अपने आसपास रंग बिखेर देगा जिससे इसे लोकेट करने में आसानी होगी वहां सुरक्षित दूरी पर तैनात प्लस 7 मिनट भारतीय नौसेना के पोत इसके पास जाकर उसे रिकवर करेंगे द क्रू मॉड्यूल इज प्रोवाइडेड विद फ्लोटेशन सिस्टम्स एंड इट विल बी रिमेनिंग ए फ्लोट अंटिल द रिकवरी क्रू reaches it to aid in recovery sea markers and location transmitters are provided to be identified at the quickest possible time yes isro chief s somnath giving details on isro's successful testing of the gaganyaan crew escape module i'm very happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the tvd1 mission The purpose of this mission was to demonstrate the crew escape system for the Gaganyan program through a test vehicle demonstration in which the vehicle has gone up to a uh, Mach number which is a speed of sound slightly above that and initiated a, an abort condition for the crew escape system to function. Uh, it uh, took the crew escape system, took the crew module away from the vehicle and uh, Subsequent operations to the crew module separation from the crew escape system, all the parachutes opening and touched down on in the sea at the required velocity has been very well accomplished and we have got confirmation of the data of all of this. And uh, we will be further doing the uh, approach recovery operations of the crew module to be collected from the sea, brought to the port by the ships, that activity will continue to happen. Uh, till now, based on the data, everything has performed very nominally and perfect. I will also like to tell the reason for why we had a hold. Uh, we initially wanted the launch to happen at 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, but there was some weather-related issues. We have rescheduled the launch to 8.45 a.m. But after going through the nominal liftoff process, there was a hold issued by the ground computer, which is called the uh, automatic launch sequence computer, which detected a sort of a... Uh, non-conformance for allowing the engine to continue the thrusting to further go. So this happened due to a monitoring anomaly in the system. So we could identify it very, very fast and correct it. And uh, to make the stage ready, it took some time to refill the gases. And that once that has been completed, we went through the proper automatic launch sequence which uh, checked the entire health of the vehicle. And finally the mission computer and the ground checkout computer authorized the launch to take off which uh, released the rocket from the launch pad and subsequent activities of the flight as well as the post 
uh, termination about uh, sequence also got executed perfectly. Manish Parab and Shivani Sangilkar for Goa 365.